This is produced in New York. Amelia Williams Chili. The first thing a produced in New York demonstrator does is remove the coverings from their trays so they can get car get started with their demonstration. Amelia's recipe calls for one and a quarter pounds of lean ground beef, which she is going to add to the skillet. She's preheated. And she's going to brown the ground beef. And she's going to add the green peppers and onions next. The green peppers and onions have already been chopped up. And now she's going to add a half a teaspoon of black pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt. When we measure dry ingredients, we have to be sure to make sure that we level them off. So you're gonna see Amelia level. Now Amelia's adding the beans. We usually use kidney beans, but we had chili beans today. So that's what she's adding. And she's adding the petite diced tomatoes. She got the chili style petite diced tomatoes for today. Now Amelia is going to measure 10 ounces of tomato sauce. When we measure liquids, we get down to eye level to make sure we have the correct amount that the recipe calls for. And now she's adding one tablespoon of brown sugar. She says this is her secret ingredient. It's already been pre-measured, so she's just going to put it in. And then she's going to stir a bit to mix it up. Now she's adding one tablespoon of chili powder. And then she'll mix up the remaining ingredients. And when she's done with that, she'll set it aside to get her toppings ready. Amelia has a few toppings that she offers. One is shredded cheddar cheese. It means she's gonna shred, shred some cheese for us here. She likes to make it finely shredded. And part of a produced in New York demonstration is presentation. So Amelia has dished her chili out into her bowl. She has dished it out, she's all set to go. And now she's ready to add some toppings to it. She's going to add her shredded cheddar cheese. And she's going to add a dollop of sour cream. 
right on the top there. Perfect. And she decided after her Purchase New York demonstration that when she does this demonstration at the fair, she'll add in the tortilla chips, little crunchy toppings. So she's crunching them up a bit and then she's like, and now she's adding some crunchy tortilla chips to the top. And this is the finished product. It's all done. We finish up by recovering our trays and that will signify that we are done with the demonstration. The tasting or product judge actually gets to taste the product. The 4 -er takes the product, their menu planning sheet, and their table tent identifying themselves to the product judging area. After the product is evaluated, and the 4-H'ers will receive their recognition and uh, evaluation forms that tell them some feedback about how they did. And you may get selected to go on to State Fair.